Jesus is back. Back again. Luke is back. Tell a friend. Luke is back. 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 All right, back again, Luke here, and uh, yeah, if you haven't been able to tell from the title, uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because I've been <laughs> just screwing with ya. I know that was really bad, but um, yeah, I ripped the, uh, the case off this beast here, and uh, I am going to paint this thing. But yeah, so here's the case. Um, I'm still debating on what color I should paint it, but I ripped all the uh, all the stickers and stuff like that off the bottom. Everything is completely taken off. It's just a big hollow case, but uh, there's other stuff in there. I'm not sure exactly what color I want to paint it up, but uh, figure something out here. Um, I just ripped it out of the case here, and I'm just waiting for uh, a nice sunny day so I can take this beast outside and paint her up but it's gonna be fun because anything is better than that back again Luke here and as you can see the uh, room is pretty pretty rough shape got a lot of paints and stuff out here there's a uh, Daimaka Emura or uh, Super Ghosts and Ghouls and um, probably the reason why this place is such a mess is because I was doing some uh, some painting and stuff I kinda wish that I had a, uh, a uh, an airbrush for it so I could do it uh, do it nice but you know tried my best and uh, yeah kind of a short video here but just want to show you Doo -doo 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 -doo. this is what I did to it so far um, it's not perfect at all you know I I just tried my best with and you know I was asking everyone what do you think I should do with it and I was they were like paint it red paint it blue paint it you know black and like I figured well how can you please everybody? Well, just try and add as many of the colors as you can on uh, on one machine. And how do you do that? Well, um, still not finished with it. Uh, still just playing around with it. This is just uh, where it is. This is what I've done with this monster here. I don't know if it's uh, a big improvement, but uh, it was fun. So, But I haven't gotten around to cleaning it up here. But um, if you want to shine it up, here's something that's really cheap and really inexpensive, and that is WD-40. Now, WD-40 can be found at your local hardware store. It's not that expensive. It's pretty cheap, and uh, it works wonders. Uh, if you don't know about WD-40, it's usually used for rusty chains or, like, squeaking parts, and uh, it lubricates them and uh, keeps them really well preserved for a long time, and it does the same thing with the plastic. Now, although WD-40 does have a little bit of a smell to it, um, if you let it sit on the plastic for like a day, that smell begins to disappear. One or two days and it's completely gone. But uh, I do use WD-40 to try and shine them up here. And I'll just give you a little bit of an idea on how I do that. So I just take a rag and, uh, you know, spray, spray some WD-40 on the rag. And with our rag here, we'll go across this. And as you can see, it's already shining up, right? Um, go around every part, you know, it doesn't matter if it's uh, like the shiny plastic part or not, but uh, I go, you know, sometimes it takes one or two sprays, but um, I make sure I cover the whole machine uh, in WD-40. And like I said, it might have a little bit of a smell to it, but um, give, it, give it about a day or so and uh, it'll go away. But this stuff really does work wonders. Um, I've used it on the... Uh, the, um, what is it, the Genesis 3 that I got, as well as um, the Atari uh, 2600 that I got, and uh, I use it on a lot of different machines, and it works out really, really nice. And uh, it's not going to affect your system, it's not going to make it, uh, you know, fall apart, or it's not going to be corrosive or anything like that, it's actually going to help the, sh the uh, machine out a lot, so... 
But as you can see, from when we first started and now, you can see that it has a really nice shine to it. Now, this might not be perfect, right? Uh, it really depends on how well that you uh, apply the, uh, the oil and how much time you spend like trying to get every single spot on it. But you'll get your machine looking much, much better um, in a very short time using WD-40. And like I said, once it uh, once it seeps in there and it sets in, uh, give it a give it a couple of days, and uh, your machine will be looking like brand new. Now, what you want to also do is try and use a lint-free cloth. Right now, I'm just using just a regular cotton uh, t-shirt rag. Um, I usually I usually use those a lot um, when I shine up uh, machines or when I'm working on something, just because they don't leave any of the like. Um, like lint strands or anything like that if you're using a cotton towel or something like that it might do that but uh, if you use like an old t-shirt you can get it uh, get it pretty shiny and you don't have to worry about going back over it to get the dust off of it but uh, that's basically how it comes out um, if uh, if you have any other ideas um, like I said if you can't find WD-40 you can use uh, armor all you can use um, like anything that has a shine to it or an oil in it and uh, use that on your system but just for my personal preference I like to use WD-40 but as you can see here it's shined up a lot nicer um, it's only taken 30 seconds right um, it does work and it's a kinda cheap way to do it but hopefully that'll help you out and answer a few questions. And like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching. Yes, who's back? Back again. Luke is back. Tell a friend. Luke is back. 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 Luke is back.